Yeah, dude, there are so many things I would ban in America from all these other countries before I ban Chinese students. Okay. Can I say what's on my chest? Can these Texas lawmakers be stopped? They're now proposing a bill that will ban all Chinese students from attending Texas universities. Yeah, man, this is going viral in some circles right now. Long story short, Representative Tinderhold, Andrew, introduced a legislative bill to ban all Chinese citizens from attending any Texas public universities. Of course, this set the internet on fire. Most people came out against it. Some people supported it. We're gonna get into the internet reactions, our own takeaways. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Andrew, hot pop boys. Yeah. Talking about everything silly to serious, Andrew. It's so yeah. silly that some people take this bill serious, right? Yeah, and it is ridiculous, guys. Uh, it's a very wrong bill to be proposing, but I will tell you this. It does not have a high chance of going through. But I will tell you this. Here's the funny thing about these people from Texas, and I might just generalize them for the sake just of this Just say quote. what the rural Texas, man. It ain't from can, Houston, okay? Can I say what's on my chest? I just think that for Americans who are all about and so proud about pulling themselves up from the bootstraps, they are very quick to blame everybody else on the ills of America but themselves. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, we got to get into the comments. Of course, uh, like we said, the first comment was, uh, hey, man, why is it, like North Korea even mentioned? How many North Korean students are trying to attend public university in Texas? Like two in the history of ever? David, why did he propose this bill? Is he Does he actually think it's going to go through or do you think he's doing it for other reasons? Tinder Holt, uh, I'm telling you, he's probably just trying to say something. He's Because the bill is like extremely short. It's not like a hyper detailed, like 100 page bill. I'm just saying what I'm saying, okay? Dude, he probably I'm wrote basically saying... I don't trust them. These people are bad or they could be easily compromised to be bad. So get them out of Texas. Bro Send them to, to California where they like being compromised. Man, it's like he typed it up on his lunch break. Just, yeah, yeah uh, ban Chinese students, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I really think he was trying to uh, cater to his base and like obviously like say something that you're not supposed to say, but he's like, I'm oh. saying it. Um, somebody said, listen, guys, if you ban all the Chinese students, you're going to lose a ton of money from international tuition. They pay a ton of money, 50K a year. Schools will get worse. They'll run out of money in their endowments. Research will suffer because right. most of the grad programs are made up of nationals. And actually, a lot of them are from foreign nationals from China. Yeah. And also, like, so if you remove all these STEM majors and all these graduate students, who's going to take their place? Like, are well, we'll they... just take some of the American no. kids that are going after the cushy financial jobs, getting MBAs, and we'll move them into the STEM jobs, into the prefab for 75 hours a week. That'll work. Well, I've always been saying that Becky and Bradley just need the proper opportunity become to study to become engineers because yeah. the Chinese people are taking their spots, you know so that's what? why they're resulting yeah. to partying. You know, the reason why they were partying so much in the frats and sororities is because all the good STEM spots were taken up. That right. was the reason why right. they were being forced into their second choice of party and business of majors. Listen, guys, I do want to say, listen, if people do the crime, they got to do the time, man. But everybody's innocent until proven guilty in America, right? Yeah, literally, somebody show me a case of an undergrad or a grad school student spying like, and if there is one, what percentage is it at? Somebody said this is classic fear mongering. The best way to manipulate people is through fear. People catering to their base in rural Texas. People just doing classic GOP attacking marginalized minorities or disenfranchised mm -hmm. groups. And uh, how come all these southern states are just like their legislation, regardless whether it's this or other things, it's looking like 1930s. Yeah, dude, there are so many things I would ban in America from all these other countries before I ban Chinese students. That's crazy. I don't like the mala tone, the red spicy soup spots that's popping up in Austin. Um, somebody said, uh, hey guys, I'm white and the Chinese in my science lab were always cool. We would bond together over watching the NBA. They lo love themselves some Luka Doncic just like me. Well, don't you know the NBA is sold out to China too? Oh my gosh. Um, somebody said, listen guys, as long as we track their income sources to make sure it's not coming from some bad evil regime, then we're good to go. Somebody said, track their income sources. We can't even do that with American companies. What <laughs> makes you think we're going to do that with foreigners? What, what resources do we have to do that? And here's my thing, man. They're like, when you talk about the housing market or you're talking about students, or you're talking about spying, like there's so many companies in America from America that are doing these things that are buying up all these individual houses that are pushing the housing market up. It's not just Chinese buyers. You know, the Chinese buyers, that's like a small amount of it. That are but pushing how come those? it seems like mentally and emotionally I'm more focused on the Chinese buyers than BlackRock or other private equity firms doing it? I feel more like 
it's okay because maybe some of them at those firms they look like me so if they get rich somehow it'll trickle to me and the places i spend my time listen i if anybody ruins america let it be other americans Somebody said uh, with the U.S. education system being how frivolous it is in 2023, all the kids wanting to be influencers and OnlyFans, there's no way we can compete academically other than just kicking all the STEM nerds out. That's the only way we could compete, right? It's just banning <laughs> the nerds. That would be like somebody with an American superstar in the NBA, Andrew, saying, ban Jokic and Giannis and Embiid because we can't compete anymore. Look at all the, the guys up for MVP in the NBA this year. They're all foreigners. Hey, maybe a new saying of the Republican Party needs to be manna, make America nerdy again. Ooh. No one's proposing that, though. Like I said, guys, we could get into so many comments. The internet exploded. Anytime, of course, there's a bill like this that gets proposed. Andrew, but what are our final takeaways, man? Because this, this bill is so ridiculous. Like we said, it's not going to get passed through, but the fact that it even made it like two out of five, it has got a lot of people going, what? What's going on right now? I just think it's so easy to look at outside factors and blame everybody else but your internal country, you know, on the problems and on the threats and everything. Like, they're, like we're just, everybody just wants to look at the outside because it's easy to say China, but it's also at the same time very complicated because China is our number one trade partner. It's the other big country right there. There's so much trade and, and relationships that they have on so many different levels, not just student levels. And I'm talking about just t Chinese restaurants and, and importing rice and stuff. I'm talking about literally up to the politics and corporations and stuff. So literally, it is kind of crazy to be proposing this. And I think I'm not saying that competition with China is not a slice of the issue in terms of like why everything seems For like sure. the rate, the, the competitiveness For is sure. tightening up globally so much. It is a slice, but it's probably overly blamed in terms of like the distribution. Everything is like a pie chart, right? There's different slices of like reasons, but of course, because Chinese people like look different, they're from a different civilization, they're from a different part of the hemisphere. It's easy to like give that spice three slice three X or 4X yeah. of the deserved blame, right? And not look at what you could do, be doing yourself or what's within your control because that would actually require you to like change behaviors mm -hmm. or internal systems. Mm -hmm. And this is why I would propose for a lot of colleges who have a lot of international students, no matter where they're from, but a lot of international students are from China, a pretty significant portion, right? I would like say you got to set up more like cultural exchanges like they used yeah. to have back in the 70s like after 1965 when they were like hey you know a new crop of students from hong kong just moved over here we're gonna like in introduce them in and i don't know there has to be more of that set up yeah. so you can get to know each other because the people who are typing all this like these fearful comments and these crazy comments against china i don't think they know chinese people i don't yeah. think they know anybody I, I don't know. My name's Tinder Holt. I did swipe a few times on Tinder, you know, to my last name on some Asiatic women, but I don't know. It hasn't materialized in anything yet, but I'll say this. I mean, listen, if you really even want like the, the international students to pay for it, I would be even okay as like unfair as it is maybe another 10k in tuition on all international students or maybe even specifically oh. Chinese students or whatever if you want to have somebody pay for these events or some sort of like international hall on campus yeah. that creates more understanding um I would say I think a question David that you would you were bringing up is like what is a contributing American now because if you're a student you come here okay and assuming you're not a spy because you know just so many of them are not. In fact, like really none of them are uh, minus like uh, two or three cases maybe in the past like 10 years where I'm saying like, uh, basically, like, wh what's a contributing American, though? Like, well, to me, it's if you go to hockey games, if you go to the rodeo, and you like football. That's the reason why. I don't care if you're Walter White as an individual or White Walter Incorporated and be maybe contributing to ruin America as long as you kind of, like, make me feel comfortable or feel, like, familiar. Even if you're a crappy cousin, you're still my cousin. But these uh, other people, they don't feel like my cousin. Yeah, I mean, and you know, maybe, it's an emotional thing. Like these like foreigners, they contribute a lot, but especially if they work at American companies, Andrew, they can do patents. Those patents will belong to the American company that they're working at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're contributing, but they're maybe like, I guess to your point, Andrew, is it, is it on the, the, the immigrants to make people feel more comfortable with them by hanging American flags yeah. and going to rodeos? Or is it yeah. more people structurally understanding that immigrants have always driven forward academia and innovation on a more like corporate sector level in America forever? Albert Einstein was an immigrant. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. I think that maybe, you know, international students are maybe not assimilating 
quite on the level as they were obviously in the 1980s and 1970s, right? Um, where they were more trying to assimilate a little bit harder back then. But I also think that America is just headed in a direction where so many people are stressed out and frustrated that they're just trying to blame whoever they can. Yeah, and they're blaming and, it on the civil society, and, on the m more like... Just like, I don't like them. They're not eating the same foods yeah. as me. I don't like them. To and, and that's not really a well thought out deep position to have. Like, yeah. to be honest, that's not, doesn't sound even factually true. If you got facts, back them, use them to back them up, please. I'm all for America becoming competitive and each state is going to decide how they want to do that. People need to compete on their own merit rather than like just praying for the downfall or trying to trip up their competitor. Yeah. I'm all for people getting rid of the bad things in America or like lessening them. But it doesn't seem like, of course, and who's going to listen to somebody who looks like me? Well, you guys let us know in the comments down below. Obviously, this is a ridiculous bill. Again, like we said, it has very little chance of going through. But if you are an international student right now, I do think some people are reconsidering Maybe not going to Texas. I don't no, know. It's I was such a big fan of KD. I was going to U of T because he won the championship here. But now it seemed like they don't want me here. I'm... Yeah, everybody let us know in the comments down below. Keep it civil. Be productive. Uh, if you got facts, share them. I love to hear stats and facts, but... Uh, maybe some... Andrew, maybe there needs to be a five-spice Sichuan peppercorn brisket. Somebody needs to do that just to make everybody... Take, make, I don't know. Bland, show me some that I would like. <laughs> but if it's tingling and numb in my mouth, I count that as terrorism. It's food terrorism. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this bill from Tinderholt. And uh, keep it civil. Until next time, we're going to hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.